I'm using a Pi 3 cluster hat and four Pi Zeros with blinks on right angle headers. And obviously with no SD cards. To diffuse the light. I've just put the test image onto the SD card for the controller and to speed things up I've already installed the Blink library the examples in the file system for each of the Pi Zeros so that can take quite a while to install As you can possibly see from the console, I'm restarting the NFS and RPC bind services from RC Local, otherwise they don't seem to start properly. A test image also runs RPI boot from RC Local within a screen session at the moment, so I can check what's going on. Uh, powering on the Pi Zeros. and connecting to the screen session you can see it waits for a Pi Zero and uploads the kernel and any other files it needs from slash boot So P3 and P4 have both started the kernel now. and P1. As you can see this takes a while as it only uploads files to one Pi Zero at a time. So they've all started the kernel now and disconnecting from screen. Uh, the network setup on the RPI boot image is a little more complex versus the standard cluster hat image. Um, this is basically due to it using VLANs to separate into internal used for the NFS root and external 
which gets an IP from the DHCP server on the local network just in the same way that the original cluster hat images do. The internal network uses the bridge BRINT which has the IP 172.19.180.254 on the controller and .1 to .4 on the Pi Zeros. The external bridge is now called BRXT rather than BR0 and works in the same way as the normal cluster hat image bridging ETH0 of the controller Pi with the external network on the Pi Zeros. So I'm just going to create an SSH key. And copy it over to the Pi Zero file systems. And now I can run a blinked example on all of the Pi Zeros uh, via SSH and the keys. And there it goes. So see the description for a link if you want to download the image that I'm using and give it a go yourself.